So, ladies and gentlemen, I know that this is probably not such a good thing to do. You know what I mean? But, uh, I decided to repaint the singlet here on this black <laughs> carded series Andre the Giant figure. It's actually dry. It's 100% dry. I did like four coats over this thing today. Like four coats. I mean, I didn't do too bad of a job. I did not, I didn't do a too bad of a job, you know. But, um, yeah, I did a couple of coats. Now, if you're asking, why is there some purple spots on him? Like some spots that look purple. Uh, if you haven't watched my original video of this, like when I first got him, the person that had this before me decided to use marker and ended up repainting the singlet with a marker, a black sharpie. And for some odd reason over the years of play and such, that marker turned the figure purple. You can, like, see it on the arms there. And that purple, I cannot get out for some odd reason. You see it in the eyes, eyebrows, and such. So, yeah, that's what happened with that. But, um, I tried cleaning them, like, beforehand. I tried giving them a wash, and before I wanted to repaint them. That purple, I cannot get out of the figure. So, basically, it's kind of like a purplish Andre the Giant. But, um... Yeah, when I first got him as well, the singlet was completely, completely, um, destroyed. Like, the whole front part here of the singlet, the back of it was just, like, a bunch of paint, paint missing. And I know, when you repaint these figures, they lose their value. But listen, the reason I repainted them, because when I first picked them up, he was already freaking repainted, you know, if you think about it. If he was never repainted in the first place, I would have never done these touch-ups. I would have never done these touch-ups, but I'm like, what's the point? You know, he was first repainted anyways when I first got him. You know, in that unboxing video, oh, it looks like some water or something got right there. He's been dry for like a good two hours, but again... It doesn't really matter. The boots, I didn't really want to touch the boots. Especially the one boot with the license on this side. The boots, I did not touch. Again, I didn't feel like really like, you know, messing up the license or anything. So I just left the boots alone. You know? But the singlet and everything and the trunks, I fully did repaint. The trunks and everything were pretty bad on the back side of his ass. <laughs> but, um... Besides that, though, yeah, the hair's been all original. The hair I have not ever touched up. I have never repainted the hair. That's all original. But when I first got him in the mail, yeah, his his single, it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. Same with his, with his trunks. His trunks looked like his ass was showing. But, um, yeah, so again, like I said, if he was never, like, touched up and, you know, he was never, like, repainted with a fucking Sharpie and, and such... I would have never touched them. I would have never, like, you know, painted them. I do got some other Black Hearted series figures that have, like, original paint missing. But nowhere near as this Andre did. Like this Andre, the whole front side of the singlet was missing a bunch of paint. The back side was missing a good amount of paint. So I'm like, why not? And it was repainted when I, you know, like I said, and such, when I bought him. Apparently it was repainted. But, uh, actually the purple and such, that's the original, like painting everything on the boots that I like again I have never touched the boots if you see purple that's from the other owner that used to have it especially you could see it in this boot this one here but um yeah so again I'm just you know I don't really like to really repaint these figures but this Andre this Andre was pretty bad it was pretty bad, but, uh, I know some people are gonna probably be pissed off. Oh, you repainted Andre. Well, here's my thing. I'd rather have, in my opinion, a pretty, you know, a pretty mint figure, you know, in my opinion. As long as the stencil's there and everything, I could give two shits if these figures, you know, been repainted. 
I'm just going to be honest with you. I could give two shits if these figures been repainted. As long as he has stencils there and shit, I don't care. You get what I mean? But, um, yeah, besides that, though, and it just looks better. It looks better, you know? It doesn't look like he's been all fucked up and shit by Hulk Hogan in your ring. But, uh, yeah, so... There you go, again, I know, and I know he's, like, all original paint or some shit. I've seen him go for, like, a thousand dollars. Well, guess what? Mine didn't have original paint. And it was, again, millions of times I'll say this, it was already fucking painted and crap. Uh, or touched up, I guess you would say, when I first got him. I'll even try to show uh, a picture or something, if I can, of, like, the photo or whatever. Um, but, yeah. It is what it is. He looks better, in my opinion, now. There's not a bunch of, you know, fucking spots. And, and so, yeah, he was one of the bad LJNs, LJNs that I had and everything. You know, with, like, paint missing wise out of the Black Card series. My other Black Card series is real, real good. You know, like, paint's barely missing on the other ones that I have. But, um, that is what it is, though. He looks fine now. I heard I could put some Mod Podge, and if I, like, want to play with them... The Mod Podge would keep the paint from coming off, apparently. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but maybe I will. I don't know. I'll have to find some Mod Podge or something. But, uh, yeah, besides that, though, because that's apparently what you use is Mod Podge, and apparently the Mod Podge keeps the paint on the figure and it won't make it come off and everything. So, yeah. <clears throat> See you people later.